Hello children, in today's English class, we will learn how to use these and those to frame simple sentences. Children, do you remember, in the previous class, we have learned about this and that. This and that are used to show a single person, place, animal or a thing. In today's class, we will learn about these and those. Children, these and those are used to show many persons, places, animals or things. We use T-H-E-S-E, -E, these to show plural nouns which are near to us and we use T-H-O-S-E, those to show plural nouns which are far from us. Now children, let's learn more about these and those with different examples. There are many balloons near to me, so I'll use these. And the kites are far from me, so I'll use those. The dofis are near to me, so I'll use these. And the cupcakes are far from me, so I'll use those. Okay children, let's try to make sentences using these and those. The bananas are near to me, so I'll use these. These are bananas. And the apples are far from me, so I'll use those. Those are apples. Children, I believe now everyone is clear about these and those. Yes? Okay, now let's do a quick review about these and those. Number one, dash are coconuts. Children, are the coconuts near or far away? Yes, it's far away. So what shall we use? That's right. Those are coconuts. Number two, dash are eggs. Are the eggs near to me or far away? Very good. It's near to me. So what shall we use? That's right. These are eggs. Number three, dash are classes. Are the classes near to me? No, they are far away, right? So what shall we use? That's right. Those are classes. Number four, dash are butterflies. Children, are the butterflies far from me? No, it's near to me, right? So what shall we use now? Very good. These are butterflies. Children, look at this box. Always remember that in singular noun, if a single object is near to us, we use this. And if a single object is far from us, we use that. In plural nouns, if many objects are near to us, we use these. And if many objects are far from us, we use those. I hope now everyone is clear with these and those. Yes? Okay, children. Now all of you turn to page number 29 and 30 from English Grammar and try to answer them. Alright?